Welcome. In this demo, I will demonstrate how to harness the power of model context protocol with Amazon Bedrock multi-agent collaboration. I will showcase this capability using energy efficiency management system use case. Let's start by setting the stage. Let's pretend you are in Octang's customer experience team and your goal is to elevate customer experience by providing a chatbot to your customers, enabling them to self-service common queries. Before multi-agent collaboration, you have different teams managing different tools and agents and no technology to combine this into one workflow. Your ideal solution not only involves providing a unified experience for all these tools, but also ability to orchestrate complex workflows that involves coordination between multiple tools and sub-agents. Each of the tools and sub-agents has its own purpose in the workflow. Perplexity MCP server allows web search to get up-to-date information required to resolve user queries. Energy forecast agent connects to code interpreter, forecasting knowledge base, and forecast consumption action group, allowing customers to gather information about their current energy consumption and forecast their energy consumption. Solar panel maintenance agent has a solar panel knowledge base and a solar energy support action group enabling customers with up-to-date and proprietary information related to solar panels. Finally, Peak Load Manager Agent connects to a multi-modal knowledge base and Load Manager Action Group, providing customers energy-saving tips and identifying non-essential processes that can be shifted to off-peak hours. After multi-agent collaboration, you have a workflow that looks like this. The Supervisor Agent has the ability to invoke sub-agents and perplexity MCP server. As the first step, we get function schema and other metadata from the MCP server. This information is provided to the supervisor agent along with other required configurations like sub-agent metadata, supervisor agent instructions, and foundational model ID. The supervisor agent at this stage can delegate tasks to sub-agents or return control back to the user environment to invoke MCP servers. Finally, let's see all this in action. You can see my chat session history with supervisor agent. I start by asking about the weather conditions in New York City. To resolve this query, the supervisor agent invokes the perplexity MCP server and we get the final response with the weather conditions of New York City for next week. After analyzing this information, I decide to update my forecast for May of 2025 with my estimate and my customer ID. To complete this user query, the supervisor agent decides to invoke the energy forecast subagent, which completes my query using the tools at its disposal, and it responds with the confirmation that my forecast has been updated. Finally, I decide to get more information about Sun Power Double X Solar Panel. To complete this query, the supervisor agent first invokes the Solar Panel Maintenance Subagent, which in turn invokes a knowledge base. We get the required information from the knowledge base. Also, to, comp to get most up to date information, the supervisor agent also decides to invoke the perplexity server. And by combining the responses from both the subagent and the MCP server, we get the final response back from the supervisor agent. Awesome. Now we are able to orchestrate collaboration between different subagent and tools. Now, let's take a quick peek at the code. First, we define three collaborator agents. These collaborator agents are defined with routing instructions, which allows the supervisor agent to understand when to delegate tasks to a particular subagent. We also enable conversation history sharing. This allows the supervisor agent to share previous responses with the subagents, allowing the collaborator to better understand the context. Then we define and create the perplexity MCP client, which allows us to connect with the perplexity MCP server. We associate this client 
with the perplexity action group and we name it search action group. Finally, we define the supervisor configuration. We provide foundation model ID, supervisor instruction, supervisor agent name, perplexity action group, the three collaborator agents. Now we are ready to invoke the supervisor agent with user queries. Great, that's it. We're excited to see what you build with MCP and Amazon Bedrock multi-agent collaboration.